So this is going to be my recap video on the products that I wanted to finish off before the end of 2015. Um, since there's so many of them, there's over 50 products that I'm going to show you here just to speed things up a little bit. I have a list here from the video that I made, so I'm going to go in order as much as I can. So starting off, I had a MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This was in NW15, and this one is finished off. So I haven't cleaned out the other remaining side of it. So there is that one. And then the other product here was a Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream. This one's in the shade Very Light. And I really wasn't a big fan of this. Um, I couldn't use this on its own. It just kind of left this greasy feeling. So I mixed this in with other foundations that were a little bit too dark. But this one did get finished off. I had the... Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in Nude. It was just little, this little deluxe size sample, and it looks like there's product in here. This is all air. Trust me, I squoze everything out. This was a decent one. Obviously, it was way too dark. This one had to be used up earlier in the year because I am very fair during the winter months. This other one is the Pond's Luminous Finish BB Cream. Love this stuff, and this one as well. This one is finished off too. It looks like there's air at the bottom, but this one is done. I do have a backup of this, so I'm definitely going to be pulling that out soon. When I started the project, I was all the way up there and I used all of that up in the year. I had the Estee Lauder Resilience Lift Extreme Foundation, Resilience Lift Extreme. This one was in 1C1 Nude. You can see my markings on the back here. I did use that one pretty religiously to get through that. And then the other foundation was the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. And this one was in 150 Buff. This one as well, it was a little bit dark for me, but that one was finished. And then I have some powders here. This first one, this is the Bare Minerals Blemish Ready. This is just a little deluxe size loose powder here. Try not to blind you guys, but when I started, I tapped it all down and it was from that mark and down. This is pretty much in the middle, so I can't remember if it was from here down or the other way, but anyway, that was completely finished. I also had the Physician's Formula Powder. This is one of their multicolored press powders in the shade Buff. And this one as well was in a project pan. Then there was the Buxom Divine Goddess Illuminator. And it was just a little deluxe size sample. I did cut this one open so I could get everything out of this. But this one kind of felt like their lip glosses that almost left like this minty cooling feeling on my face. So I had to mix it in with foundations just so it wasn't so intense on my skin. I've only heard one other person mention that this does that to their skin, so I don't know. I had the Benefit Watts Up little mini deluxe size highlighter, and you can see the markings on there. When I started, I was all the way up at the top there, and currently I'm down at that mark. It's kind of hard to see, I know, but that is where I am at the moment. So um, I am planning to toss this one into a project this year and get it moved out of the way. I also had the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. Absolutely love this thing. This one was in my Finish 7 by Spring, I believe. But I'm going to toss this one into my Back to MAC bag and use it that way. So probably out of everything that I finished, this one makes me the happiest. And then I had two products here that I was planning to use. I tried to use them, and this first one, this one broke me out like crazy. This is the Honey Bronzer from The Body Shop, and I love this thing. I might have to get a new one, but I did make quite a bit of progress. This powder, I've seen other people mention this too, but it started to flake off once there was a dip forming in the center, so I used as much as I could, but like I said, it started breaking me out and it wasn't just like a little breakout. It was like a two week long, would not clear up kind of breakout. So this one is just going in the trash. I also had the Makeup Forever HD blush and they don't even sell these anymore. And it's been quite a while since I purchased this. So this one, again, this one's just going into the trash. This was in number eight and you can see 
I did use a little bit of, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, there's maybe like a quarter of an inch between the line and where the product is sitting now, but even with this being like vacuum sealed tight in this container, um, it's still, it almost looks like it's separating in there. It just makes me nervous. So I'm, I'm just going to be letting this one go. Then I had a couple other blushes. I had the NYX blush in Angel right here. This one was in one of my progress projects from the year. I think it was the finished four by 4th of July, but this was a happy day when I finished off this blush. I do miss it. It was a really nice, easy, soft pink shade to wear. I had the Clinique Blush in Cupid, number 08. This one was also in a project. I believe it was 7 by Spring, but that one is finished. This one was a little bit of a darker pink shade, but there was only 1.8 grams of product in here, and this seemed to take forever. I don't know. The Clinique blushes are just milled so fine and they're pressed so compact into their pans. Even the new ones that they came out with, the cheek pop ones, they are just the strangest consistency. So this one did take a very long time. I'm very happy to have moved that one out. And then this other blush, this is my NARS Orgasm blush. This is my oldest blush that I had in my collection. I just wanted to hit a decent size of pan and this is enough for me. So that is where I'm calling it quits with this blush. This is one of my very first cosmetics that I ever purchased. It's been around for long enough. It's time to let this one go. I'm just gonna toss this. I did have the MAC lip liner in Boldly Bare. I did send that one off into the traveling makeup box. If I can find that, I'll link that down there as well, but I don't have that one anymore. I have three lipsticks that didn't get finished off. This first one, this is from e.l.f. This is one of their matte lipsticks in coral. When I roll it up all the way, you can see my line on there from where I started and I got down to there. And I'm actually going to be getting rid of this lip product. It's just been around for so long. This was one of the very first lip products I ever purchased. So this one I'm going to declutter. Then there was this little mini Bare Minerals lipstick. This is in Speak Your Mind. This is one of the Marvelous Moxie lipsticks. And my mark on there compared to when I started and that's where I got down to. And the last lipstick that wasn't finished off was this L'Oreal lipstick. This was actually just in my Finish 9 by New Year's. And when I started, I was at the very top lineup here. And I got all the way down to just under this bottom line. So not too bad on that. I had another one of the e.l.f. lipsticks. This one, this is in Tea Rose. And I just finished the last little bit of this off in December. But when I started, when I held the lipstick up to the top, it was up to there. So I finished off that much of this lipstick. I really do like this shade. This is like a mauve purple shade. I, I really like that one. I'll eventually repurchase this in the future. I had a little deluxe size of the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks, and this one was in the shade Naked, I believe. Yeah, and this one as well. The marking's kind of hard to see. It's right above my nail there. Kind of hard to see, but when I held the cap up, you could see that's how much... That is how much lipstick that I used up out of this one. This was a much deeper kind of mauve nude shade. Not something that I would reach for on a regular basis. I probably wouldn't repurchase that one. There was the Kat Von D lipstick in... What was this one? Lovecraft. And this is one of her older formulas of her lipsticks. And when I started this project, I was at that silver line there. And currently this is finished. This down here is just the, the plastic that holds the lipstick on. So this one was a little bit darker, uh, more mauve toned than the Urban Decay Naked one I just showed. But I'm not a big fan of her new formula of her lipsticks, so I won't be repurchasing this in the new one. I have a Maybelline Color Whisper here. This one is in Pink Petal, and I think this one was in a Project Pan, but 
I just held it up to the edge there like that and that top black line is where I started. So that one is finished. It was kind of a bright sheer pink shade. This is the Bite Lipstick in Heritage and oh the cap stuck. Let me show you how much I have left here. So that silver line is where I started at the beginning of the year and I got down to right there. So a little bit of progress. My daughter does like this lipstick actually, so I think I'm gonna pass this one on to her. This is the Pure Matte Lipstick from NARS and this one is in the shade Film Star. I honestly only use this one like maybe once or twice. So I think I'm gonna keep this one around and try and use it up in one of the early projects of 2016. Then I had two of these Tarte little mini lipsticks. This first one is in Believe and I think I'm just gonna toss these two. They've been around for a very long time. I got down to there so maybe like a quarter of an inch of progress on that one. And this other one was in the shade Destined. Yeah. I used a little bit more out of this one. That's how far I got down with that one. I had three of the Clinique Chubby Sticks. Um, I cannot find one of them, but I'll just give you the name of it. So the first one, this one is in Mega Melon, and this one wasn't my favorite shade, but I used it. It wasn't that bad. There wasn't that much product to go through. So when I held the cap up, it went all the way up to that black line there. And then I had the one in... Voluptuous Violet. This one I really did enjoy. Oh, I don't have a mark on this one, but it was just a really dark kind of purple, sheer purple shade. I scooped a little out for a swatch on my last empties video, but there's there's no marking on this, so I can't show you where I was, but I finished this one off, and then there was a very light, sheer lilac one. It was the flowering freesia shade. So I don't have that one. No idea where that's at. That's the only product that I did lose entirely for this project. I had a couple lip balms. The first one was this EOS in pomegranate and I didn't clean out the bottom just because I had so many lip balms that I wanted to use up for the year. So it's flat. I can't use it comfortably anymore. So I said sayonara to that one. I also had the Bonnie Bell Vitagloss O2 lip balm and this was in Watermelon Wellness and this one started at the bottom and rolled up so that's where it was when I started at the beginning of the year and I just rolled it all the way up. This was in a project, I think it was my last project pan. This was a tinted lip balm. This was from Sephora and Pantone Universe when they did their collab for when the color of the year was Radiant Orchid. This is the Venus Lure lip balm in Rosebud. And when I started at the beginning of the year, I was right at that top mark, completely finished with this one. I did really like this one. It had a very nice scent and I liked the shade of it too. So anyway, there was that one. Here's a color tattoo. This is the Maybelline Bad to the Bronze. And this is all that I have left at the moment. So not too much, it shouldn't take much and this will be finished off. Uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Seashore Frost. This was a really light, maybe the cap has a little bit on it right in there. Uh, this was a very light kind of tealish blue base that you could put down. Depending on what you put over it, it would shift from that blue shade to like a purpley pink and then up to a gold. It was very beautiful and I did actually have a lovely subscriber send me a backup so I do have another one of these. This was probably my all time favorite color tattoo ever. Then I had the MAC Fluid Line in Dark Envy and that is what I have left in there. This was pretty much full at the beginning of the year. I had to break the initial video into two parts so I'll link both of those down in the description box in case you wanted to check them out and see what the products looked like when I started. Um, I also had this eyeliner from Urban Decay. This is in Binge. This is one of their 24-7 Glide on eye pencils. I think I only use this one like twice, but I am just tossing this one back into my collection. I had the Jordana Metal Rocks Metal Metallic Retractable Eyeliner in Green Envy. I believe this was in the Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's a black line right up there. 
and when I put the pencil down against the bottom, it was all the way up there. Really happy about this one. There was the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in perversion. This is all that is left of it. This is the Revlon Grow Luscious eyeliner in emerald and I went to use this in November and it is pretty dried out like before it used to be really creamy it's moving around in the actual pencil on the inside it's not stuck anymore so it's moving around I think I'm going to let this one go even though it is a beautiful color it's just not performing like it used to so this one's gonna go in the trash and then this other one, this is the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Coal Liner in taupe. And the same thing with this. This one's not attached in there. I'm going to see if I can use this one a little bit. It's definitely not as dried out as the other one, but there's a little swatch of that. I might hang on to this one for a little bit. There was the Buxom little mini polish here. This is one of the full-on lip polishes. This was in the shade Tanya. This was kind of like a corally, it's like a corally orange kind of pink shade. And I took the stopper out, got everything out of there, and I did enjoy it, but I don't think I'll ever pick up any more of these box and glosses. I learned my lesson when I bought all these little mini sets, so no more of those. Um, I had one that I took down to my hometown when I went down there for Thanksgiving. That one was the Buxom Full Bodied Lip Gloss in Moi, and I did leave that down there. I lost two lip glosses when I went down there. I have no idea where it's at. It's in January. I haven't seen it since November, so unfortunately that one is just gone. It's lost somewhere. This one is the Full Bodied Lip Gloss from Buxom, and this one is in Strut It, and I think I used this one once. This is just a very kind of mid-tone pinky fuchsia kind of color. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to this and see if I can use this up in 2016. I had the Trina Tarantino gloss in Cabacon and this one as well, I had it in a project. So that was the starting line from the beginning of the year. And this one also had the stopper taken out and I used everything out of there. I had the Lorac Pro, like I mentioned earlier, and this puppy is completely finished. I'm really happy about that, so I can move a palette, an entire palette, out of my collection. Really, really excited about this. I did have a goal of wanting to finish off three eyeshadows out of the Lorac Pro 2, and I didn't do that. Um, I was able to hit pan on one of the shadows. That is Rosé right there. It's kind of hard to see, but... Um, I'm pumping the brakes on the Lorac Pro 2 palette for a little bit just because I just finished the Pen That palette for 2015 with the original Lorac Pro palette and I am burnt out on Lorac shadows at the moment. So I also had a couple perfumes that I wanted to specifically work on. This one was the Gold Sugar perfume and this one was not a favorite of mine. This other one was the Ed Hardy Love Kills Slowly. This one was pretty good, but I think this was in the Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. When I started, it was all the way up at that line right there. It's kind of hard to see, but I also had some skincare. So this was the Ola Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. I had a sample of this and the little foil packet worked amazingly well and then I got the full size. I think this was almost $40 or something or maybe it was 50, I can't remember. But I got the full size and it didn't work at all. So I was really disappointed in this product. There was the Clinique even Better Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. I use this guy up. This is completely filled with air. That's not product in there. It's all air. There was one body butter because it was expiring soon. This was the Yes to Carrots Nourishing Super Rich Body Butter. And I did finish this one off pretty early on. I think maybe even in the first month of the year. So, And finally, the last three products were hair products that I wanted to use up. So this one was the Chi Farouk. Royal Treatment White Truffle and Pearl Hairspray. Oh, I'm so glad that this is gone. This one smelled so awful. I, I was not a fan of the scent on this, so really happy that I was able to use this one up. 
there's nothing in there. A volumizing mousse from Tresemme. This was all right, but it just felt like I never used this. I always forgot to add it in when I was doing my hair. And by the time I remembered, my hair was dry. So I'm really happy I finished this one off. There's, you can hear in there, there's barely like three drops in here. Nothing else would foam out. So happy that this one's finished as well. And the last one was one that I was not a fan of whatsoever. This is the L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. It's supposed to have a strong hold and create instant lift and fullness. I didn't like this one. This one nothing left in this one so really happy that those were moved out and that's it so i will have a video for your, the products that i want to use up for 2016 it's part of a use up collab started by l is for living if that as soon as that one gets uploaded i will link it down in the description box as well but anyway that is it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye